This video demonstrates how to use a cloud sharing account with a Microsoft Excel Access or Excel RT based application. Using the Quick License and Add License tools, we've constructed a protected licensed application. When launched, it presents a familiar open data file window. This is a built in file manager for the application to create and manage workbook files. We see there's a cloud button in this window and that can be linked to a cloud sharing account. Currently it's not linked to account, so if we click the button, we're presented with an error message, and then we can go and link it to an account. To do that, we're ne we'll need the credentials of a cloud sharing account. And here we see the credentials needed. We need the cloud ID and either a read or write password. So we're gonna go to the setup dialog and we're gonna name our account, whatever we want. put in the cloud ID and then we'll also put in the read password so we have full read write access to that account. So now we have uh, linked up this cloud button to a cloud account and whenever we want to put files up into the cloud we can select a file, click the cloud button and now we can upload the file. And now we see the cloud has been added, or the file has been added to our cloud sharing account. Let's uh, go ahead and add another file. And let's say that uh, we want to see the process of downloading one of those files to our local computer. So let's go ahead and just get rid of these two files. And now when we navigate to our cloud sharing account, we can select one of those files and click the download button and it will download it to our local computer. And let's do the same thing with this file. If we wanted to share files from our cloud sharing account with another user, we could give them our credentials. We might decide that we don't want to give them full write access because we don't want them uploading their own files or deleting files from our account. Just give them the ability to view and download files from our cloud sharing account to their local computer. So instead of giving them the write password, we'll just give them the read password to our account. So let's go to the setup dialog and try that here where we'll use the same cloud ID but in this case, we're just going to give them the read password. And now we can see that while we can still download files, we can't delete them. We also won't be able to upload any files. So for example, let's try to download this Connie Jones file. And we can see we can download it to our local computer. But the user is not going to be able to go and upload a file to our account. To review, the cloud account gives your user access to a private region of the cloud where they can upload, download, list, and delete their files. Sometimes it's convenient to be able to access multiple cloud accounts from an application. For example, maybe the developer of this application has a cloud account of example workbooks that they can add to over time and the user can easily access those files. From the setup dialog, we're going to select define cloud sharing accounts and we can create multiple named accounts. That makes it easy to flip back and forth between those accounts. Let's take this first account and let's call that the read account since we gave only read access to that account. And now let's create another one called the write account. And for this one, we're going to give the user full read and write access. So we'll click the add button. So we have two different accounts now. We have the read account and the write account. So we can go and each account we've added here shows up in the menu now. So we can select the read account and then the user has access 
to download those files, but they can't upload their own files and they can't delete files. Or we can switch over to the right account. And from that account, a user can download files or they can also upload a selected file or delete a file. Another way to access a cloud sharing account is with the free standalone Mac or Windows cloud sharing app. Anyone can download and use it on their computer. When launched, it presents a similar interface where they can see the files in their cloud sharing account or set up and switch between different cloud sharing accounts. We have a folder of files here with a CSV file, like a database of some sort, a uh, video file, and an image file. And we can also load those types of files into a cloud sharing account. For example, we can click the upload button, select one of the files, and it gets uploaded into the account. And let's go ahead and upload this larger video file. That'll take a little bit longer, so you'll see the progress of the file as it's gradually being loaded into the account. And then let's do one more. We'll go ahead and put a JPEG file uh, that we'll upload into the account. Now you might be wondering why would you want to load different kinds of files in a cloud sharing account when the, uh, the main purpose of, of the account that we've demonstrated so far is just so you can conveniently uh, store and share files, workbook files that you're using with your Excel-based application or Excel or T-based application. Well, there's uh, a few simple API commands that make it easy to access files of other types as well from within your Excel-based application or your XLRT-based application. Within the uh, Quick License Runtime, there's a couple of commands that you can easily access with VBA code from an Excel-based application and upload, download, or retrieve a list of all the files in any cloud sharing account. In fact, using Quick License with any type of development environment you can make use of online files stored in a cloud sharing account. The same thing is true with Excel RT. There's a few built-in scripting commands, so it's dead simple to upload files, download files, or get a list of files from any specific cloud sharing account that you have the credentials for. Now you can make those files easily available in your application, so you can change images within the application, play videos, add sound effects, you can have a database uh, of information stored in a CSV file that you periodically upload and maintain in the cloud, and then it's available to all of the users of your application. If your application decides to store some extra files in the cloud sharing account, the cloud button will still just show the workbook type files, so it won't confuse the user even though there are additional files in that account. At this point, you might be wondering, how can you get your own cloud sharing account? Well, you can get it as a monthly subscription from Excel software, but the more common way is it'll probably be included with the app that you purchase from a developer or as a value-added service sold by the developer. So for a developer to offer cloud sharing accounts with their apps, they'll have a vendor account. From a browser, they can log into their vendor account and they can create a set of user accounts for the users of their app. With their vendor account, they'll get the ability to create a specified number of user accounts, a specified max limit to the number of files that can be stored in a specific user account, and a maximum file size that can be stored in that account. And then if they need to, they can bump up their account to uh, add additional user accounts as needed. Here in this account, we see one user account has been created. But let's go ahead and add a second user account. So if we click the Add button, and we'll just give it a name for the account, 
and we can specify a file count and file size in megabytes for that account and some other information to manage that account. We can see the new account has been created and here's the read here's the account ID, the read password and the write password for that account. A vendor can manage accounts through the online vendor account or it can be done in a very automated way using a, the safe activation service where during a purchase process the end user gets the credential information they need to get logged into their cloud sharing account.